Hey guys, it's Jody. This is my first ever makeup tutorial and I did it on this cut crease look I have here. And I have my own little makeup Instagram business. It's called Makeup by Jody and I just got up to 200 followers which I agreed to make my first YouTube tutorial if I got to 200 followers. So. I hope you guys like this look and if you have any suggestions for other looks just comment below or just um, let me know on my makeup Instagram. So please subscribe and follow my makeup Instagram, Makeup by Jody. Okay, so today we're going to be using the Lorac Pro Palette and we're going to be doing a cut crease eye look and for cut creases, this only takes like a couple steps but the thing is, like the key to this is just to keep repeating the steps because you have to blend but then you have to go back and intensify it since you blended so much but it's really easy once you get the hang of it. So the first color we're going to be using is taupe. We're going to be using this on a fluffy blending brush. And we're going to place this, blend this above the crease and you make sure not to put any below the crease in this look because it's a cut crease. So just blend it back and forth. So that is a transition color which helps everything like be easier to blend out. So the next color we're going to be taking is Espresso and we're going to take this on the e.l.f. angled eyeliner brush. Any little brush will do but this one is only one dollar so. We're going to place this in the crease of our eyes, just outlining the crease. Like that. So once you've done that, we're going to take the color Sable. Uh, yeah, Sable. And we're going to take it on a pencil brush. And then we're going to blend that out and we're going to go upwards, not putting any below the crease. So, Okay, so after that you're going to take the same blending fluffy brush with no additional product and you're just going to blend that all out. So basically those are the steps, those three things are the steps but we, besides the lid color, but we're just going to keep on doing that so we can get the intensity we like but also have it nice and blended. So we're going to take Espresso again with the angled brush and carve out our crease again. that and then the fluffy brush again with no product just blending it out okay so you can do this as many times as you want to intensify it I'm gonna do it one more time maybe one more a little later but um, you don't have to do it this many times I just like it really intense and really blended so Okay, so after all of the blending, we are going to put the lid color on now. And I'm just using my, just a lid brush from 
the, this is just came in one of the Naked palettes. And we're going to take the color white, white and cream. And just mix them together and then place this on the lid. And this will just like make the cut crease stand out more. Alrighty, so this step that I'm about to do, you do not have to do, but I really like me some sparkles. So I am going to take my Makeup Geek pigment in the shade New Year's Eve. These are only $7 on the website Makeup Geek and they, uh, I just love them so much. They're just basically a bowl little jar full of sparkles and we're gonna take this on the same brush we had so just any sparkly color you like if you like sparkles so we're gonna take the Mario Badesco facial spray you can use um, teardrops putting teardrops I mean eye drops on your um, brush will intensify the color too so just Spray your brush and dip it in whatever eyeshadow you like, the sparklies, and just place it on your lid. Okay, so now that that's done, we're going to do all the same steps again to intensify and blend. So, espresso with the angled brush. Okay. So now you can see this is what it looks like and it's kind of messy over here so we are going to clean that up and just take any lid brush that you have like that or concealer brush and we're going to take some concealer. I'm using um, just any concealer if I can find it. So got the concealer. Okay, so now we're just going to take it from our waterline up to our brow like this. Just drag it like that. And then that makes it so much cleaner looking because we did so much blending that it can start to look messy but that's always a good trip and that's always a good trick and this also makes putting a wing on really easy because you can see the line so you can follow that so I'm just gonna be taking NYC's liquid eyeliner and gonna be making a wing So this concealer trick make, makes it really easy to just follow the line and get even wings. Alrighty, so once you've done your wing, make sure they're dry before you do this. We're going to do the same thing with the concealer just to sharpen up the wing too. Just to make sure it's as perfect as it can be because you know wings, they have a mind of their own. Okay. Alrighty, 
So now it's time for under the eyes. Uh, we're going to be taking the same angled brush with espresso and just lining the waterline. Not actually the waterline, but you know, not like in an air, but just under it. Okay, so after we have put the espresso, lined it, we're going to take some, sa a little bit of sabo, a little bit of sable on our pencil brush and just blend that out a little. Alrighty, so now we're going to do the brow highlight and... Use any lid brush or whatever brush you like to use, and we're going to take the color white from the Lorac. Ta da! Okay, actually, not ta da yet because we haven't put mascara on. So we're just going to take any mascara that you like and coat to your lashes. So this is the finished eye look. I hope you guys all liked it. Let me know what you thought in the comments. And please subscribe to my channel and follow my makeup Instagram.